Hello, and uh, welcome to my lab. Today I want to tell you a little bit about a fellow by the name of uh, James Prescott Jewell. And uh, I like to call him Joe Ool, but uh, he made uh, some important discoveries in electricity. And one of the things he found out is uh, a way of measuring electricity. And uh, he decided that if we use one watt of electricity for one second, we would call that one joule. That is a very uh, easy calculation. One watt for one second, one joule. One watt for 60 seconds, 60 joules. One watt for an hour is one times 60 times 60 is 3,600 joules or 3.6 kilojoules. And uh, yesterday we talked about a solar panel measuring two feet by five feet. So a 10 square foot solar panel and we decided, actually, I tested it. And I found out that about a 10 square foot solar panel on average throughout the day will put out 50 watts for during the 12 hours on average. And so how many joules would that be? 50 watts times uh, for 12 hours. Well, the calculation is uh, 50 times 60 seconds times uh, 60 minutes times 12. And here you have it, calculation. 50 watts times 60 seconds times 60 minutes times 12 hours, and that's a 2.16 megajoules. 2,160,000 joules, 2.16 megajoules is how much electricity we could store in a battery pack with that solar panel. How much is that? Can we put this in real terms? So let's compare it to how much a fridge would use. And I checked that out on the net, and an average fridge over the course of a 24 hour day will use uh, about 100 watts an hour. And over a space of 24 hours, well, we can figure that out easily. It's 100 watts times 60 seconds times 60 minutes times uh, 24 hours. And we end up with 8.64 megajoules. Now that doesn't compare favorably with our uh, solar panel. Our solar panel only puts out uh, 2.16 uh, megajoules. So if we wanted to uh, operate our fridge with solar panels, we would need, in fact, four of those solar panels. We would need four solar panels that measure approximately 10 square feet in order to operate our fridge. And uh, I hope this uh, helps you in uh, your decision as to whether or not you buy solar panels and how many you're going to need. Thanks kindly.